Hello viewers, this is Dr. Jana and you are most welcome to this world of artificial intelligence and in this series of videos, I will be covering on this artificial intelligence and its implementation using this problem. So for this, we need to know uh, what is the predicate calculus. The predicate calculus, uh, it is the language we will be using especially uh, for solving the real time problems in the artificial intelligence. So before going for that one, uh, we should have some idea about what is this production system or what is this artificial intelligence and what is this production system. So in this language like we are using the predicate calculus, the most important things we are using is the production system. The production system we have a definition like this, the generalization of computational formalism, we call it as the production system. So for this we need some global database and we need some rules and first and most important thing is the representation of this problem domain. If you can represent the problem domain, then we can select some rules and you can apply these rules, then we can infer something. Okay, this is the uh, basic principle uh, of working all, all the things. So this predicate calculus or we call it as the first order predicate calculus. Also we call it as a formal language. This we use some predicate symbols and we will be using some variables. You will be using the uh, different type of no, symbols, constant symbols, the functions, all the things will be used in here. Sometimes also we call it as the atomic formula or the well-formed formula or the predicate calculus. Okay. Here we go for some two important things, one is the relation of entity. Here we require some, uh, so many things we use it here. So we will be discussing one by one. Now let us have some idea about how it is done. Okay. So suppose. I told you that in the predicate calculus, we will be using something like predicate symbols. I am writing it here. Yeah. So we are going for this predicate calculus. I am calling it as the predicate calculus. Predicate calculus. Okay. In this predicate calculus, we will be using the predicate symbols. First one is the predicate predicate symbols okay what is the predicate symbols and how we use all the things let us discuss in the predicate symbol we will be using uh, some verbs like say for example i say shakespeare has written candidate something like that okay so i write so then uh, who has written shakespeare has written what he has written he has written some candidate let me something that i do not know what is that candidate so that is represented here the verb is written here right as write your right and then shakespeare's S H A K E six P E A R E. So write six P R. Uh, yeah, P R. And what he has written? He has written candidate. So for candidate, some novel, for something like that, something he has written. Say whatever things you write, candidate D A T. Okay. So this is the thing he written. Then we cannot represent in C, Java, then what we need, we need to depend on a variable and you, it is not like that, it, it will not work on that one. So here I am using the predicate symbol, the predicate symbol, what is the predicate here? The verb what I am using right, it is the predicate, okay? Then I am what writing? Shakespeare writes or wrote candidate, so tense is not important, present, future, past that is not important here. So write Shakespeare candidate, okay? So write the verb, then inside the braces the subject and object Shakespeare the subject he has written what he has written the can he has written candidate that is the object right similarly we can use some variables okay this is the predicate calculus the first one second we can go for the use of these variables okay use of the variables use of the variables how do we use these variables so for using the variables suppose I am using x y suppose x has written y x has written y then how do you write write w r i t write write the predicate a written x and y okay you got it now similarly we can go for the use of the function so we can go for the use of the function say how do we use this function say for example i am using the function here for example i am writing say john's father married john's mother okay so there uh, i'll be using something like this sub suppose so i'm writing john's father john's father john's father married married 
टू जन्स मदर जे ओ एच एन जन्स मदर ओके डोट लाव इट इज जस्ट वी आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग अल दि थिंग्स व्हाट इज द कंटेंट इज नॉट इंपोर्टेंट फॉर अस देन हाउ डू यू राइट अल दि थिंग्स देन यू सी आई एम राइटिंग ए फंक्शन सो फास्ट वन व्हाट इज द प्रेडिकेट मैरिड एम ए आर आर आई एड मैरिड ओके इन दिस मैरिड हू मैरिड जन्स फादर हाउ डू राइट द जन्स फादर सो विन दि स्क्वायर ब्रेसेस आर राइट फादर अफ जन एफ ए टी एच ई आर फादर अफ जन जे ओ एच एन डोट ओरी फर दिस अपर केस लोअर केस आई एम नट गिवेन इन कमा टू हूम इज मैरिंग मदर अफ जन एम ओ टी एच मदर अफ जन जे ओ एच एन ओके जन ओके सो दिस इज द रिप्रेजेन्टेसन इट इज ए फंक्शन सो फादर अफ जन इट इज वन फंक्शन एंड मदर अफ जन इट इज अनादर फंक्शन ओके सो मैरिड फादर अफ जन टू मदर अफ जन रईट सो दिस थिंग्स अल्सो यू कैन यूज सिमिलरली समटाइम्स अल्सो यू कैन यूज सम कन्स्टाट सिम्बल्स वी कैन यूज सम कन्स्टाट वी कैन यूज सम कन्स्टाट सिम्बल्स यूज आर कन्स्टाट सिम्बल्स ओके वी कैन यूज सम कन्स्टाट सिम्बल्स हाउ डू यूज दिस कन्स्टाट सिम्बल सो यूज यूजली द अपर केसेस फर एक्जाम्पल भोल्टेयर एंड कैंडिडेट समथिंग लाइक दैट समथिंग लाइक दैट भोल्टेयर भि ओ एल टी ए आई आर इ भोल्टेयर ओके एंड हि हेज रिटर्न कैंडिडेट सी ए एन डी आई डी ए टी राइट सो दीज आर दि थिंग्स वी कैन यूज एंड वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट अल दि थिंग्स यूजिंग दिस थिंग राइट सो नाउ देन वी कैन गो फर सम अदर थिंग्स दिस प्रेडिकेट कालकुलस व्हाट वी आर यूजिंग ऑल दिस डिफरेंट नोटेशन आई हेव टोल्ड यू वी अल्सो कॉल इट एज द आटमिक फर्मूला और अल्सो वी कॉल इट एज द वेल फॉर्म फर्मूला और प्रेडिकेट कालकुलस ओके हियर वी फैंड द रिलेसनशिप्स एंड अल्सो द एंटीटी ओके द फर्ब्स आर द थिंग वी कॉल इट एज द प्रेडिकेट एंड द डिफरेंट अदर टर्म्स इन सैड द ब्रेसेस वी कॉल इट एज द सब्जेक्ट एंड ऑब्जेक्ट सो वी कैन यूज इन एडिशन टू दिस सम सिम्बल्स अल्सो वी कैन यूज इट देर ओके सो फर दिस रिलेसन वी कैन यूज सम सिम्बल्स सो आई विल बी आई विल बी क्लियरिंग अल दि थिंग्स देन वी कैन गो फर दैट वन आई कैन So write control and delete. What is that? Okay. Now let us start. And uh, I think we can change the color of this uh, thing. It is instead of this, we can go for some other color. Red color usually it is not good to use. Okay. So I am using this color now. Now what I am telling you that, say for and, for using this and, for using this and, you know how to use this and. This is the symbol for using and. For using or. We are using the symbol V like this. It is the R. Okay. So similarly, for not, for using this not, we are using the tiled this thing, right? And similarly, for implication, for implication, for implication, we are using just like this. This is the implies or the implication. Okay. So uh, let us represent small small things. uh because i will be telling you in this video i will mainly focusing on how to download install this prolog and how to run the minimum program in this prolog but before that you must have some minimum knowledge about the predicate calculus otherwise it will be difficult for you to understand that is the reason first for 5 minutes i will be talking about this predicate calculus then i will be moving for that other part right so suppose uh we say John lives in a green house. Say, for example, I am going to uh, do here something here. I am telling uh, John lives in a green house. The thing is that John is the John. He lives in a he lives in a green house. John lives in a green house. Green house means green color house, right? Green house means what? Green color. How do you represent all this by predicate calculus? Say, I like what is the predicate here? predicate means is the verb so lives is the verb so i write lives lives who lives john john lives where he lives he lives in a house john lives in a house okay this is one thing then 
and the color of the house should be green for and what we use this is the and then what i write color c o l o r color of house h o u s e comma green is is it represented g r e e n you got it now 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 so how do you represent all the things c language how do you represent all things in java so it will be very difficult for you to represent so even if the defining the rules and applying the rules it will be difficult because you write a number of lines of code it can be represented i am not talking that it cannot be represented but honestly why you go for so much of coding where it can be represented by a single line so leaves john john leaves in a house and color of house is equal to green it is represented say this i am using the and here you see suppose i am going for or i am going for or so i say uh, john either plays football or he plays volleyball so then john i write it here john he plays john he plays football 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 b a football or volleyball b o l l e ball okay that spelling you check it i am very poor in english spelling okay how do you represent all the things so i write it here then what is the predicate predicate is play okay predicate is play or plays whatever thing i play who plays john play sorry john play john play what john play john play football john play by default he plays football but not necessary all the time he will be playing football okay football is it that all the people play all the time football not necessary so sometimes he will be playing so if that is or then i use this symbol or then uh plays you put it here yes better you put it then i put it plays also john can play uh, what he plays he can also play volleyball okay so you write volley v o l l e y volleyball okay so now we are able to represent all the things then suppose i want to say you that shakespeare has not written vedas vedas is not written by shakespeare then first of all we write to say vedas uh, i say vedas not written by not written by shakespeare s a j k e s x p e a r e shakespeare okay so how do write so first i say shakespeare written by the then what i write what i say write write who writes shakespeare writes write shakespeare write shakespeare p e a r e what vedas so if sorry vedas if vedas is written by shakespeare then it is fine but is it that has shakespeare written no shakespeare can never write vedas so then negation so shakespeare has not written vedas okay so these are things you can use it here like this so then we delete all the things then fin finally i am going for the implication then i am going for the implications implication rule say i am writing it here for one is the implication one is the implication in the implications what you write suppose f1 implies f2 what is the meaning that means f2 has come out of f1 f1 implies f2 means f2 has come out of f1 so then its equivalent which is equal to negation of f1 or f2 so if anywhere this is given this symbol f1 implies f2 then its equivalent you can write it the predicate called for is negation of f1 or v2 this same thing can be replaced by this one right so now the predicate calculus also we call it as the propositional calculus the predicate calculus also we <coughs> call it as the propositional calculus here we are using some concept like quantifier we will be using some concept like quantifier quantifier what is this quantifier this quantifier will be using say for sometimes uh, we use some languages which directly cannot be represented for example uh, there exists somebody who has written beda how do you write all the things there exists somebody the some who has written i do not know suppose shakespeare wrote, wrote beda that i can write write shakespeare's beda that we can write it object subject and predicate i can write all things but but the but he is telling there exists somebody who has written beda and there is sometimes also there are some things which are always true for example a color of elephants is gray but it is not necessary that you know in singa your thailand you are having some Um, elephants, white elephants. But we are. I am not going for the dispute. Assuming that in India, 
India, we don't have any white elephant. We don't have any elephant. We have never, never seen. Maybe in movies you have seen, or somewhere you have seen, or people who have visited Thailand, they have also seen these white white elephants. But assuming that the the color of elephant is grey, color of elephant is grey. How do you represent all things? How do you represent all? Because it is a universal truth. For that, what we do? So what I write, universal. I I call it as the uh, universal quantifier. This I call it as the uh, quantifier. First one I call it as the universal. Sorry, U universal, universal, universal quantifier. I call it there. Okay. In this universal quantifier, what what do we do? So for I write. I write for a uh, for all x for all x that means any any you can take anybody any elephant and elephant x okay then this is I think I put it huh? then you write elephant elephant x for any x elephant x implies okay it implies Colors of X is equal to grey. Color of X, X is capital. Color X is equal to grey. Here you are grey. Are you getting me? Are you getting all the things? Then what I have written? Okay, this thing. Uh, I think you can resolve it. This part. Okay, just one minute. Just I want to delete this thing. Okay, delete. Right. So what I am going to write it here. Okay, I again it here. So I am writing um, for all x here. I started here. Here I started here. For all x, for all x, then. Elephant X implies color of X is equal to grey. Okay, so X may be any elephant. It may be elephant from uh, Bengal. It may be X elephant from um, Tamil Nadu. It may be X elephant from. So the color of X is equal to grey, right? So this is there. So what was what I want to go for this existential quantifier. Uh, quantifier. Another thing is that the existential, existential. Existential quantifier, quantifier, quantifier. Okay. In this, we are using a notation like this. The reverse part of E. Okay. How do you write? So I write. Say uh, there is there exists somebody who has written Vedas. Then for that, what I write? There exists somebody. That is the existential quantifier. Uh, this and write. And write x comma Vedas. Are you following me? So this is possible. This we can do it here, right? For there exist x, somebody exist that x has written Vedas. Okay, maybe God has written or somebody has written who has written. We don't know. Okay. So in this way, we can go for the thing. Again, we can go for uh, some other representation, general representation also. We can go for that one. Uh, say uh, we can infer something from these things. Why I am telling you that? You have to infer some solution from the existing data. Okay. For example, man is mortal. This is the rule. Man, mortal means to understand who has to die. We call it the mortal. Man is mortal. Man is mortal. So anybody born, he has to die. So this is the rule. This is the rule. Right. Then, uh, then how do you represent? So for all x. For all x, that means anybody x, and man x. If that x is equal to man, man x implies mortal x. Implies mortal mortal x. Are you following me? Are you following me? So this is the universal quantifier I am using and implication I am using. For all x, man x, mortal x. What now I am telling? Shakespeare is a man. Shakespeare. 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 
is a man shakespeare is a man then how do you represent all the things it is it is just a, a representation so man so i say man shakespeare s h a k e s x p e a r e so shakespeare sorry shakespeare is a man now i have to infer that means from this i have to deduce that shakespeare is mortal so to infer to infer shakespeare is mortal to infer infer shakespeare is mortal shakespeare shakespeare is mortal okay shakespeare is mortal that we can do it in the language the either this you know i told you that in both the languages we can use the prologue you can use also list but in this video we will be using this prologue so then how to write all the things so we write mortal mortal means who is born he has to die mortal who who is, who is now the shakespeare this will be derived from that one automatically the machine will uh, derive for you or uh, infer from it e p r p r right you got it now so this is the a brief idea i have given you related to uh this predicate calculus then what are the things actually require for installation of this uh, uh, your prologue for installation of this prologue first of all we require uh, to install um, something like the uh, window versions we are having cjwin uh, we are having cjwin okay for this cjwin what you need to do you come on here and type it here you type cjwin C Y G C J W I N and dot com it is coming yeah C J W I N dot com in the C J W I N dot com you can find it here this is there some installation is there we install the C J W I N so from that what you need to do you need to install C J W I N by running setup x eighty six underscore sixty four dot e x can you see it here setup x eighty six underscore sixty four dot e x e so this is the thing you have to click and it will be downloaded after downloaded it will be there somewhere okay so i will show you where it is downloaded it is there already downloaded and it is available in my download folder yeah you can check it here yeah opening downloads you can find uh, setup x86 underscore 64 okay this is already there okay so that i have to download then how to install just double click and so the location where you want to put it my case actually my c drive there is no chance it is already filled up i already told you long back now i will be putting up in the e drive so in the e drive i already put up i will already install that one also then just after the installation you have to go for uh, the uh, g prolog okay in the g prolog also how do you go for the g prolog for the g prolog okay you you got it now so just after this you double click e by default you are having sufficient space there is no need to change any uh, location by default what is the location uh, directory is showing just install install go on clicking s s s s s it will be installed there is nothing uh, great thing here but next we are going for uh, the prologue so for using this prologue so what you need to do uh, we have to write again uh, g prologue dot org g prologue dot org it is coming in the g prologue dot org you can find it here it is the you can see the latest versions we are using 1.5.0 1.5.0 right here uh, you have a number of option with you uh, if you are using uh, windows 10 with 64 bit operating system you can select this one windows intel 64 bit auto install setup so you see that you are going for mingw uh, 64 gcc under my ms1 this are the things you are going to download okay so if you are going for also 32 bit also you have to go for this one not the first one not vc plus plus you are going for this one okay so if you are using windows 7 or something then you have to go for because this is the software it is for windows 10 not for windows 7 if it is for windows 7 then you have to search it uh, where windows 7 is available that you have to download right so then uh, then you can uh, have any of the id or any of the um, uh, you can have notepad plus plus or anything that that is convenient for you you can have sublime anything you like you can install that one okay so i double click this one also i have downloaded and it is also available that i'll show you it is also um, yeah in the download folder you can see uh, that is setup g prologue that is 1.5.0 mingw x64 it is there 
so i install this one and then i install this prolog after installing what you find you will have uh, installations like this once the installation is completed you will have a setup like this you got it now so you will have the setup like this okay now because i'll show you from the beginning say initially what i have done uh, when that question mark it comes uh, that is the prompt that's just like the no in in in, in, in unix or linux platform you are getting a dollar sign or if you on the road you are getting the hash sign here you get a question mark and hyphen you get a question that, that means it is the prompt okay the first time i want to write hello world i want to write the hello world here in the console mode i am writing then i want to write the hello world then wh how do we do so write in the single quotation in inside the braces under single quotation hello come world and after that you put a period of dot once you click it here you can you can see the output it is coming if you want to uh, test it here again also that i am taking it here uh, it is not uh, required to write all things just i up to this yeah i write all things okay so i take sorry control c i take it here now i am going to run that program okay so now control v okay then i turn it here can you see the output it is immediately showing hello world so write hello world i am giving it is showing hello world you got it now suppose i want to write something two lines so write hello world comma new line comma write let us program so this apostrophe s is there but we are having already one um, apostrophe s here like that okay question will go to so for that reason i am putting a slash and backward slash so let us because already you know uh, who people who are already working uh, on um, latex they will be knowing all the things so for these things why it is even if in our python programming what is the program i have given you there also you can use it when you are going to use this apostrophe s inside the a single quotations it will not recognize because it will feel that the program is completed here so you can start with double quotation because instead of that i put a the um, cut slash okay then if you run this program what i have written write first hello world then a new line see all are uh, separated by comma here and at the end i am putting a period dot okay the output it is coming you can clearly see hello world let's program okay so these are the things you can do it here then another thing i want to i want to tell you suppose the same thing i want to write a file and then i have to run it here okay just like the uh, war, war, workspace how we are doing all the things for that what you need to do you can use any of the idea or you can use any of the uh, things i am using um, my uh, uh, that is uh, what is this uh, sublime in the sublime what i am writing main colon and hyphen then write hello world in single quotations and i put a period here can you see it here what is the program writing main colon hyphen okay space write okay this is the thing then i saved it as so control s save it save it as uh, program one dot pl pl stand for this not the uh, previously we are using no uh, so ruby or something like that Perl. it is not Perl here it is the pro prologue pl stand for the prologue don't confuse that don't go for that Perl. okay so this is the program i have written once i have written this program and i want to run this program then what i have to do before that you have to change the directory without changing the directory you can run it here okay then for changing the directory what i have to do here when it is here the prompt is here then you go to the file then you go to the file then you go to the change directory in this change directory where it is actually it is there in the e drive it is there in the e drive uh, in the e drive i created a folder and my folder name is a b c d j h i j k l n o p so prolog program i created a folder prolog program then i open it here okay this one okay now it has taken yes change directory e prolog program is there then what is my uh, file name uh, my file name was program one i already created that program one so for that to getting that one what you need to do so type it program one okay so uh, this one you write it here program one p r o g one okay so if you type this program one and put a dot sign here and run it here it is showing okay this is already done okay so this is yes that means this program one it is existing there even if i want to that is, you got it now so it is running 
so that means this is there already it is there so the output it is showing it is yes it is there now then line set it is already there so now i want to see that uh, main so i write m a i n and i put it dot okay enter okay enter then you can you see the same hello world program which the output you are getting i think uh, you are getting the very fundamental or the minimum things so here two things i have shown you first one i have shown you how to uh, download and install uh, this software and just after the installations you have to open this prolog console where you open all the things that also i am showing you if you go to the desktop already what i downloaded and what i installed that icon will be appearing in your desktop that icon you can see it here g in you prolog that icon is appearing and siege win 64 terminal it is there it is there you don't go for that one this is not important for us then we will be using gnu prolog okay and which version i am using gnu prolog i am using 1.50 and here the, the corresponding version i have already shown you so once it is there you double click this one once you double click then it is open like this and then i am writing all this program then what i have written it here i have written some interactive program in the console or typed it you have seen the output and also i have written a program in some of the other uh, say like that sublime and saved it with a file name dot pl where i saved it i saved it inside a folder in e drive that is prolog program pr uh, prolog program okay inside that one you can see it uh, e prolog program slash program one dot pl this is compiled one okay there also i learned it and i hope uh, the very fundamental and first part of this prolog program uh, you have understood if you really like this video please do share with your friends and please do subscribe so based on the subscribe i find that in the uh, there are around 67 students uh, in the cat so if at least minimum 60 students are uh, first of all they are um, they are following their viewing as well as uh, they are going for the subscription then i will prepare the second part otherwise maybe your teacher will be looking after all the things till then goodbye take care of your health and have a good day thank you for watching this video okay so so please share with your friends and also please do not forget please do not forget to subscribe okay so i will be preparing the next video but once i see how many people are subscribing based on that only the second video will be released thank you for watching this video have a good day